Hey guys, welcome to this session by K21 Academy. In this session, we are going to discuss about Docker image vulnerabilities and Trivy image scanning. Now let us take a quick glance at the agenda. Firstly, we will be getting introduced to Trivy. Also, we will be seeing how to install Trivy. And then we will see how to scan images using Trivy. And then finally, we will be seeing how to run Trivy as a container. It would be helpful, especially when you are preparing for Kubernetes certifications. So there are three certifications in Kubernetes. First one is Certified Kubernetes Administrator, which is CKA. And then second one is Certified Kubernetes Application Developer, which is CKAD. And then third one is Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist, which is CKS. For clearing the certification exams, you should have an understanding of Docker image vulnerabilities and Trivy image scanning. Hello and welcome to this session. Today we will see how to scan images for vulnerability using Trivi. Trivi is an open source software. We will see in this demonstration how to install and run Trivi and scan images and also see how to run Trivi as a Docker container to scan our images. Introduction to Trivi. Trivi is a simple and comprehensive vulnerability scanner for containers and other artifacts like file systems. A software vulnerability is a glitch, flaw or weakness present in the software or in an operating system. Trivi detects these vulnerabilities of OS packages and application dependencies. Trivi is easy to use. We just need to install the binary and we are ready to scan the images. Let us see how we can install Trivi and scan our images. So we want to know more about Trivi, the software. We have the link here. It will take you to the GitHub of Aqua Security, which owns Trivi. It has all the details of how to install on different operating systems, how to use it, and the documentation. So feel free to use this link and see details about Trivi. So installing Trivi, I have a Red Hat server here with me. I have a Red Hat 8 server. So installation it can be done in three different ways. One is you install the repository, like you copy the content, see from the documentation on the left-hand side, into your slash etc slash m dot repos dot t and create a repository and install the package. And, and if you're using Debian or Ubuntu, you can also do that, but app get instead of yum install. The other option what you have is using the scripts, you can just download the binary. Let me just do that for you. So we just download the install script and the script gets gets copied over to user local pin. Now if I do which trivi, I will be able to see if trivi is installed to get additional options and help. I can just do trivi hyphen h. It gives me the details about trivi. It says Trivi is a simple and comprehensive vulnerability scanner for containers and what options we can use with Trivi. Like we can use to scan an image, scan a local file system or a remote repository or run it in client or server mode. Let us see how we can scan, how easy it is scan. Now the Trivi is installed. All I need to do is Trivi image and name of the image I want to scan. Say for example, I want to scan NGINX. So I say NGINX and colon 1.18. It takes around 15 to 20 seconds based on the internet speed. It downloads a database of 20 MB and it scans your images. All right, let me maximize my screen and rerun this command one more time so that it is visible clearly. You see, it gives you a list of CVEs, common vulnerabilities and exposures, and it, it gives you, let me scroll up a little bit. It gives you the, the summary. NGINX 1.18 image has 156 vulnerabilities of which low are 114, nine medium, 31 high, and two of them are critical. So 
if you do not want to go through all of them and you're only worried about critical so what we can do is we can add the filter and i can do severity as critical and it shows me only the critical vulnerability right it gives me the additional details i can take the cve number and go back to google and search for this cve and get additional details about it say so i do not want to know all of the additional information i just need the cve number so we can also pass in the option hyphen hyphen light so it it updates a smaller database of 13 mb in size and it just gives you the list of vulnerabilities you can see just the vulnerability ids and using this you can identify the vulnerability let me go back to the lab guide so this is how easy uh, it is to scan your images using trivi right let me i also have a kubernetes cluster running on this let me do cube adm config images list right so these are the images which were used uh, to create my api server right so let me scan this for vulnerability right so if i do trivi image and pass this image name we see there are zero vulnerabilities so so using this trivi it is so simple to scan your images and then it will help you choose images with no or lesser vulnerabilities and then use that image in your application maybe use it as a base image or you know to build your application on top of it or when you're using the same image you it will give you what vulnerabilities it has and how you can manage with those and run your application let me go back to the lab guide it says also we can run trivi as a docker container right so we saw how to install and run trivi we installed using a script now if we do not want to install we can just run trivi as a container as well so all we need to do is have docker installed i already have docker installed on my computer so what i do is i run trivi as a container so i say docker run and i pass the image name and it's pulling the image which is needed and there you go so your this is your trivi container it gives you the options what you can do with that right so if you want to scan any image so you pass your image name do this command so we wanted to scan 1.17 this time and there you go so it gives you the vulnerability details when you do not want to run it as a package installed you can also run it as a container right so this brings us to the end of the demonstration on trivi so we've discussed how to install and run trivi how to use different options and scan different images we've also seen how to run trivi as a docker container as well thank you so much that was our expert in kubernetes now if you want to learn more and get certified then sign up for the free class of kubernetes certification of your choice for certified kubernetes administrator free class please visit k21academy.com/kubernetes02 for certified kubernetes security specialist free class please visit k21academy.com/kubernetes sec02